Hey everyone, welcome back. Fred here at Math and Engineering. We are going to do three really quick uh, questions for you. This is from a, a past exam, so uh, this is the multiple choice section of that exam. So in these multiple choice questions for linear algebra, you can look for little tiny tricks that are definitely going to make your life a lot easier, okay? So, and in every one of these questions, you'll see that there's like a literally a 30 second solution, okay? So let's look at the first one, okay? So uh, for two marks, the determinant of the matrix we have it here is equal to one of these, okay? So like I said before in the previous video when we found the determinant uh, in the inverse matrix method or the cofactor method, uh, we want to look for the uh, the row or the column that has the most zeros in it and that's going to be the easiest way for us to determine the matrix, okay? So uh, I'm just going to go over here and write our sign convention for the three by three matrix with the positive and negative values. Okay, and that way we know kind of uh, what to multiply our initial value by. So I see here in the first column here we have two zeros. So the only thing that we need to do to calculate the matrix is to evaluate the, I guess, the matrix of minors here and multiply it by uh, the values. But two of them are zero, so those are just going to be zero. So all we need to do is evaluate it for one term, and that's the first term. Okay, so let's start there, and we'll say the determinant is equal to we have three, okay, and we're going to multiply that by positive one, okay, so it's just going to remain the same, and that is going to be times, okay, two times one, minus, right, so we're going to multiply by this, we're going to find the minor matrix here, so two times one minus negative one times one, okay, that's going to be equal to three times two plus one, that's equal to nine, okay? So the determinant is nine. So really straightforward, you know, if you were to select maybe this row or this column or this column and you tried to find the determinant, you would get it, but uh, it would be much longer. Uh, and you know, there's much more room for error. It would take a lot of time. So the answer here is B. Perfect, let's move to the second one. The eigenvalues in the matrix are, and we have this uh, matrix here. So let's just go ahead and how do we find the eigenvalues? Well, we uh, for the diagonal here, the main diagonal in the matrix, we're going to subtract each term by lambda. That's how we start. So we keep those stay the same. We have five, and then we have one minus lambda. Okay, and we're just going to expand this matrix out. We're going to cross multiply here, and we'll see what we get. Okay, so we have three minus lambda times one minus lambda. Okay, and that is going to be minus 3 times 5, which is 15, okay? Expanding this, okay, we have 3, okay? So 3 times 1, right? And then we have 3 times negative lambda here, so that's going to be uh, negative 3 lambda minus lambda, so that's going to be 4 lambda, and then we have plus lambda squared minus 15, okay? And I'm just going to bring this down here. And uh, we're going to take this term here and we're just going to kind of clean that up a little bit. So that's equal to lambda squared, okay, minus 4 lambda, minus 12. Okay, and uh, if we go ahead and we just factor this, really straightforward factoring here, that's going to be equal to lambda minus 6, lambda plus 2. Okay, so that means that our lambdas are equal to 6 and negative 2. And do we have that here? We do. That is D, okay? So the answer is D. Let's take a look at the third one. Okay, so this is a linear mapping, and essentially in a linear mapping, okay, we have, uh, we have a mapping from a nonlinear system here to a linear system, right? And we have let n be greater than or equal to 1, and it's an integer, okay? And uh, the question is asking us what value of n here uh, makes the mapping linear, the mapping Tn, okay? And it's really, really straightforward, actually. If you just take a look, it looks confusing, and the wording is they've tried to word it very difficultly. But if we take a look at this expression here on the right, the only value of n that we can put in to make this mapping linear is 1, right? If we put anything other than 1, all right, um, it's not going to be a linear system, okay? It's going to be uh, the, the order of the values are going to be, you know, higher than 1. And in that case, it's not linear. So the only number for n that makes this mapping linear is 1. Okay, so that's going to be a. And that's it. Okay, so that's uh, just kind of like a, an idea of what you can look for with, with multiple choice questions in linear algebra. They might be a little bit trickier, but they're always going to be solvable in a very quick fashion. So look for the tricks. Thanks for watching, guys.